your wife, 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 your wife. That was hard. I don't want to talk about my wifey. Dude, he's not talking about your wifey. He's not talking about me. I wish he was talking about me. You can go. Anyways. <laughs> hey, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for listening to But Don't Take My Advice, where we talk about everything, but I am an expert at none. I'm your host, Alexis J, and I hope you like, share, comment, laugh, listen, think, reflect, but just don't take my advice because I don't know shit. So today, of course, we brought back uh, my illustrious co-host. We've been trying to think of a name, but I think we're just going to call him Jay. <laughs> yo, I really can't think of this name. That that really needs to be a thing, yo. A after, stage name? After we um introduce our, our guest, we need to think of a name. I think he's creative enough, creative, uh, creative enough to think of a name for him. Well, speaking of our special guest, we have DJ Stuck in the building. Hey, Stuck. I say, I say year. Yeah. <laughs> say That's year. true Philly fashion. This is where I got like 40% of my... Um, <laughs> Of like my your slang, my Philly slang. Like yeah. this is a, he taught me how to move in Philly for forty percent. So of the way. stuck. Um, and Jalen know each other because they're both members of Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated. Don't forget them, Incorporated. I didn't. I'm not a skater. Um, <laughs> stuck is Jalen's neo, and they both went to Cal and Macron. Blah blah blah. Go ahead and introduce yourself, stuck. Tell people who you are. I mean, how y'all living? <laughs> we should have put your drop on. DJ oh. stuck. Oh. See, Plug it out. See, you ain't got the piece. Oh, we got the piece. piece. All right, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Go ahead. Okay, okay. But wait, matter of fact, I could email the J. I definitely. I'm gonna email. We'll throw it, throw it in. Man. Do you think we'll throw it in. There. All right. But how y'all doing? <laughs> I mean, uh, Jaquan Stucky, which a lot of people really don't know. But as y'all know, a lot of people, a lot of people like to call me Stuck, aka DJ Stuck on the ones and twos. You know what I mean, your girl's favorite DJ. Hey. <laughs> she got stuck in the mix. I'm just saying. Don't tell Ray that. He's DJ. Make it nasty. Shout out to Ray. <laughs> hey, it is what it is. You know, so, that's a nasty name. I know. <laughs> How long have you been uh, a DJ? I started DJing even with the interest of it 2013. Okay. And it's been a while. I, be- I became an official, what is it, F- FC- mm, FCC licensed DJ. Oh. And you know what I'm Okay. Yeah, when I took the test with uh There's with, a DJ test? What does that consist of? Uh we had manual like know what the FCC regulations are so that way when we go on air we don't get in trouble. Wow. Like, they find you and things like that. Yes, we, we can yeah. get fined yeah. for That's for airwaves. that's for radio, that's not just for like parties though. Or you gotta oh, okay, okay, I see what you're saying. So I end up being a I've passed I didn't my know test that was a in thing. 2014. Okay. Early and I I didn't have my first show till that next fall. Oh shoot! All right, so we're gonna get to the grind, but I just want to tell the people uh, a little bit about what we got on the docket for today. Of course, we have to talk about Scorpion. It's Friday, June twenty eighth. Scorpion dropped actually last night. He lied to us and said it was going to drop today, but it dropped last night. It's June twenty ninth. Is it? No, it's not. Yes, it today is. Is it June twenty ninth? Oh yes. damn! I'm sorry. It's June twenty ninth. I know. My Listen, my days are all off because I work Sunday through Thursday, so I won't be knowing what day it is for all. So it's June 29th, apparently. And, <laughs> and uh, Drake actually dropped last night. Jay fell asleep, and I listened to it. And I listened to it like five times. Um, so we're going to talk about Scorpion. Uh, we're going to talk about Tiffany Haddish. We're going to talk about Tayona Taylor's album. We're going to talk about Cardi B and Offset. Um, a couple more music things. We're going to talk about the BET Awards that happened, the NBA Awards, and uh, some movies, some shows. So that's what we got on the list so far. Um, but first, let's get back to DJ Stuck for a second. So talk about what that was like you said. Like you got your license and then you didn't really even land a gig. What's the grind of a DJ like? Like how do you start landing gigs in the DJ world? Honestly, it's it's all about who you know. Mm-hmm. It's all about networking and who you know. Cause my first official paid gig was actually Pitt Nesby, fall of 2015. That um, uh, science it was the, thing. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's they a, have a cookout every a society of every year. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That was my first official paid DJ gig, and the only reason I got that. Was because my line brother, my my tail Bond, he was actually hey, bon bon. on the e board. Oh, okay. 
So he's like, hey, my my, my line brother DJs, mm-hmm. can we get him in here? And that sparked the movement. Yeah, what was it like from there? Like, was it a quick blow up after that? Were you landing a lot of gigs or was it still kind of like a steady grind? From there, it was still steady because I still didn't have my own speakers or anything like that. So it's not like I could travel with speakers. Mm-hmm. I Like, literally, I lost money that time because I had to rent speakers mm-hmm. from them. So, like, though I gained money, I also had to take that margin out. But... And I didn't get my own speakers and stuff until 2016. Dang, so it was a little while after you got your so you got your certificate in 2014 and really didn't get your own stuff till 2016. This is the stuff that it's just interesting to me because like people just be like, oh yeah, he's DJing and like whatever you see DJs on Instagram, but nobody really. I don't feel like there's not really a lot of conversation about the the DJ world or like what goes on behind the scenes in DJ land. Yo, yeah. Stuck's come up was crazy. I remember him doing those little uh, house parties and doing like little outdoor events a couple um union things and then when he got those speakers <laughs> was that was that was that the moment that things kind of shifted for you that when you got your own gear definitely the turning point when he dropped that refund check <laughs> i was like shout out to the refund things checks. that came in the mail the big boxes not the little bo- big boxes i was and like what's that he and was the like, first the time, future first time I, I debuted those speakers was actually lit nick part two Fall oh wow 2016 yeah that's when I got to officially debut, debut. Mm-hmm. So from there, what were what kind of events were you? Because I, I guess in a college environment, it's just a lot of opportunities to DJ now. Since then, I've been to with I've done a like little house functions mm-hmm. down in West Virginia, down W. Uh, I've done pageants out Indiana. I actually was one of my last gigs was actually out IUP. For they had like a little block party. Shout out IEP. I uh, can believe I, IEP they breed DJs, so I can believe they, they couldn't find anybody. I, 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 <laughs> I was actually out there for the homecoming this uh, past yeah. year too. Oh shoot! Oh yeah, I was out there. Did their homecoming party. Uh, I've done a pageant out, out Edinburgh. Mm-hmm. That was a chike and a half, but we Edinburgh made it happen. Far. Yeah, shout out to all this Western PA talk. If any, if don't nobody know what we're talking about, yes, <laughs> all these Edinburgh Western University. PA state schools. <laughs> uh, and I'm also. One of the curators and committee members behind the PA Alpha Cookout. Mm-hmm. Well, PA Cookout. Let me let me correct myself. PA Cookout. It's not PA Alpha Cookout. It's just the PA Cookout, which is as if you're not from Philly and you haven't heard of it, this is probably one of the most livest. Yeah, we talked about it last uh, <laughs> last episode. Livest. It was cracking. Livest. I swear it was. So, um, in your opinion, like being from Philly, but you kind of made like a name for yourself in Western PA and where it's kind of like a smaller environment to network, like, do you think it would be easier to make your name, like to be a big fish in a little pond or be out in Philly where there's, there might be more competition, but there's also more opportunities. It's nice being a big fish in a, mm-hmm. in a little pond, but sometimes it's better when you have, when you're surrounded by oh, I don't mm-hmm. know if I'm about to get this because there's somebody else just as good as me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because that that excitement, it fuels you. It fuels your drive and it just makes you want to go harder, like get better equipment, start working more technique and just mm-hmm. making sure everything comes together perfectly. So that way there is no competition. You're you're slowly taking over. You're progressing up the charts. So how do you practice DJing? Like you just make mixes and stuff? Like what does that consist of? And like, how much are you listening and like new music dropping and stuff like that? Honestly, I'm I, I with shout out to Apple Music. You know what I mean, <laughs> Apple Music has actually kept me in the loop way more than I really am because I'm not always straight, just ear to the streets, just mm-hmm. knowing what's mm-hmm. hot, what's what's coming. No, I'm I'm a regular person. I I see what's what's out there. Yo, this podcast is for the regular people. Talk to them. <laughs> I, I hear something from somebody, and I I give it a listen. Like, yo, you ever heard this? Mm-hmm. Bing, bang, boom. Like, oh, why that's t- yo? I got I got add this. Mm-hmm. Or even just sitting in the house. Like I've been like I'll find throwback songs that I never even thought about. Mm-hmm. Just sitting in the house and just hearing it being played. Like, oh man, I gotta add that. And when it is time to practice, literally, Jalen could tell you. Like, even when I was living up at my house at Cal, it could be a random Tuesday. And I'll just be in the house like, you know what? 
bust out, open everything up, mm-hmm. and just start Yo. mixing. Just a random mix. We would get out of class. It'd be like 11 a.m. Stuck walking in the house. We just all chilling. All you hear is the speakers just go off, all the windows open. <laughs> it just become a whole party at like 11 a.m. He just like, yo, I got to test this set out. Yo, I just made this mix. It's time to test it out real quick. Is there a formula to sets? Like, I know there's like the warm, like, I, there definitely is, but I just want to know what it, like, you're at a party and you can tell when a DJ's trash, right? You're like, why would they put that song right after that? Or like, it's not the time for that. Or I'm trying to, I'm trying to twerk right now and they're trying to play slow songs. Like, what's like the DJ formula for a party? Well, my philosophy is I want to tell you a story. Like mm. when I have, like I have to drop your girl. She got stuck in the mix because I'm, because not even, it's not even trying to be like, oh yeah, I'm taking your girl. To the, but I actually want you to get stuck in the mix. Mm-hmm. Like I want you to hear my tell and go on this journey with me. So from when the party starts to when the party ends, I'm trying to create an atmosphere where. Is just constant vibes the entire time. Mm-hmm. Like no matter what happens, it could seem like it's going left field, but it still flows. Like you're hearing that story, you're going on this passage passage with me. That's dope. I never thought about that. Do you agree? Like sometimes, like you're not feeling a song, but you know the whole everybody is like, yeah. but you, do you, you gotta go play against it. your morals. <laughs> do you play songs only that you like? I don't play songs only that I like. There are times where someone's come to me like. Yo, this will this will be nice, and I I listen to it myself. Like, uh, all right, I like mm-hmm. I'll, I'll take I'll take your judgment for it, and those be the ones that sometimes give you the biggest success. Yeah, you'll see everybody in the in their teed up, just uh, you like all right. With the me out, up with the me out. And from there, it's like okay, now I gotta make sure I keep it in the flow mm-hmm. because. You already have set in your mind beforehand where you want to go next. Mm-hmm. You all like yeah. How do you take requests? Like, does that fuck up I your whole flow? I, I, I really don't. <laughs> Stucky, can you play that? That's, that's, that was a big growth Stucky, point. Can you play that? that was a big. I, that I, was in the <laughs> development. Yo, you <laughs> stopped taking requests and you you stuck to that. I was like, yo, he he. Uh, like, <laughs> I'll be honest. I I really don't. If I if I'm taking your request, is only because I have a certain level of respect for you or we're close in a certain matter. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Outside of that. I will, I will look at you, I'll act like I'm looking it up, and I won't. <laughs> it be, I feel like every DJ is like that, because I swear to God, there's been plenty of times. <laughs> there's been plenty of times where I was asked for a song, and it never gets played. <laughs> I'm like, oh, like, oh, all right, bet, and just keep going. Our engineer, Mark, is laughing. Matter of fact, shout out to our Wildfire Radio. Thank you for having us again. I don't know. I keep forget Every time I, last time we was here, I forgot to like be like, yeah, here we are, duh. <laughs> but yeah, thank you. Shout out to Wildfire Studios, Recording Studios, and uh, thank you I for having us. I think a big thing... Um I always thank you, thank you. <laughs> but I think a big thing um, I saw, like you were from Philly, and Philly and Pittsburgh are two separate cultures. Entities. A whole like you would People. think they were in different <laughs> states, different countries. Honestly, honestly. Um, and I know like you always got asked to play like local Pittsburgh rappers, and though they're not the most, you can't get them off an of Apple playlist. Like yeah. that's different. Like uh, and that's, I yeah. think you've grown like there's. I think you've grown in that area. Like you will play them more often. Yeah, like I do doubt you, you'll do play, you that play that to your audience. <laughs> Or do you already have what you I, have in mind? I do cater to my audience. Mm-hmm. So, like, if there's more girls, or if there's more, like, you know, where people are from, like, if you're doing a Pittsburgh party. So, okay, if I'm DJing, say I'm DJing an event at Pitt. Mm-hmm. Based off like how the culture is up at Pitt, I know what I can play. So, like, I can go to Pitt and I can play a heavy amount of reggae. I can yes. play a heavy a lot of dance hall. Afro beats. That's true. I can I can do that. Whereas though, if I'm at Cal, I I can't do that. Mm-hmm. Like I can play some reggae, maybe some Afro beats that maybe a few people will know. Yeah. But in that consistence, I'm playing more of a of a. I'm, <laughs> honestly, I'm playing. Oh, trap I'm playing more of a trap yeah, vibe. Pittsburgh with, loves. I'm playing more of a music. trap to twerk. Music. Shout honestly. out to really honestly, shout out to the Philly DJs that brought that culture to Pittsburgh. I swear to God, because you know, I went to IUP and like I really mm-hmm. didn't know half the the like dance hall, like Jersey bops, like the Philly the Philly style music until I got to IUP and we had DJ AMH and we had DJ Yay and it was like that's yeah, all we heard yeah. at all the parties and it was like forced upon us and I'm like oh this is lit because all we was listening there was to was a whole trash culture that was like brought <laughs> that we like, yeah like we college. had no idea no idea we no was going out and stuff like that when we were younger I used 17. to hate it I'm like why are they playing all these it stupid songs but like radio or nothing. You just had, yeah you had no choice but to bounce to it 
Well, I think uh, it's time to get to uh, Scorpion. <laughs> Is that the Scorpion? <laughs> no, no, no. It's not, that's not a Scorpion. <laughs> <laughs> that's not a Scorpion noise? <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't even know what. Uh, I don't think they what a scorpion noise. makes. Yes, they do. All all animals make. It's like a it's a it's a reptile, ain't it? Uh, <laughs> Scorpions are arachnids. What's a it's a what? They're arachnids. Oh, like a spider. Yeah. They just run up on you. <laughs> is that is that is that an animal description? They just run up on you. They move like that. Is uh, that the category? G and lasagna. Any animals that just run up on you are in the scorpion family. All right, so obviously Drake dropped Scorpion today. It was a double album. He had an A side and a B side, a total of twenty five songs. It was a lot to take in for me. Um, I had to listen to it five times to for for me to even come here and have an yeah. opinion. Like yeah. when I listened to it the first time last night, I listened to it with the world and with Twitter. So that's always a great experience. Like I like how Drake drops his albums and everybody's on Twitter. Like listen to it together, commenting on it together. Like that's better than a Wyoming listening party to me. What do y'all think? Oh well, <laughs> I think everything's better than Wyoming. Don't get me wrong. Like, <laughs> no, I don't think you can. I don't think you can go wrong. Like, yeah, everything's better on Twitter. That's true. That fly that scared the fuck. Uh, yeah. So, what did y'all think of the album? Come on, hello. Off your phones. <sighs> We're on camera. They can see y'all. <laughs> so I feel like the album. I. Where do I start? <laughs> where do you begin? Do so I go tell me, track all right, by so, track, or do I go? No, all right. So I'll ask. I'll just ask you questions. Was it was twenty five too many songs? Was it yes. too many songs? Yes, if, if if it's not, I don't think twenty five is worth it. If they are all aren't twenty five relevant songs, they all aren't straight fire. Like some of them were fillings. Like but nobody killed Chris Brown for forty six. I did you? I I Chris Chris, Chris ripped heartbreak on the full moon. Yes. I'm, I'm I'm gonna keep that being with you. What I I, I listened to that entire I, heartbreak on the full moon. Same. So you're saying Chris could get away with it because it was better music? No, Drake Drake can get away. Drake has gotten away with it. He is. Right now, he's. I mean, he got I, nineteen right. songs in. Yeah, that because that's true. Because views was twenty. Twenty, twenty, yeah, twenty. Um, heartbreak on a full moon was well, still a lot for they me had to take really in. Really good at music on there, but it was still a I lot. Mean, for, it took me a few days sense, to finish yes, it. Yes, in that sense, it was still a lot for me to take in. Yeah. So I could see that it was just, it was just a lot for me to register. Um, so I think to begin. So when I listen to the A side of the um album, it's just so weird how like now it's like you just listen straight through on a yeah, playlist. Yeah, a, a B-side, yeah. A-side, I would B-side rather B-side have taken out the disc CD, yeah, and, and flipped it over. Now it's like I'm listening <laughs> to it on streaming services. Mm-hmm. So I'm listening to the A side. I'm listening to the rap. You have to digest rap a certain way. You have to hear. You have to listen to all the words. I'm exhausted after I listen to your twelve rap songs, and then we have to transition into your R and B. Your first song R and B. I was like, "Yo, is this party?" And then I was like, "Oh, oh snap! This is." <laughs> I thought that was party at the beginning, but then it wasn't. I didn't think Peak was good. I so, didn't think it belonged on the album. What do you think about how he like explained himself? Like, do you think this gets him out of the Pusha T? Beef like, oh, I, I was hiding no. my kid from the, no. I was hiding the world from my kid. Like, let me explain. Yo, like, he didn't come a, back on the defense. Sc- he came back on some vulnerable, let me explain shit. That Does that work do- for Drake? I, that was a dope excuse. That I never did thought about it? that angle. I never thought about it. Like, all you did be dads out I there. Mean, have you ever <laughs> need to really tell How did you say you never thought about that angle? <laughs> That's exactly what I said when he first, when we first heard about the kid. I said, yeah, I wouldn't have told. I wouldn't have told y'all crackheads about my kid either. Like, as much as y'all be on the blogs and talking shit, he's the biggest, he's one of the biggest stars in the world. Like, but I do think that if he had a better baby mom that he actually liked or got along with or was proud, like if he got Riri it, pregnant, it this is he, not Riri situation. would have had a pregnancy photo shoot. Like, it wouldn't have been no hiding the kid if it was a, if it was a different baby mother, I think. I agree. Now, my take off it, I, I've i listened to the A-side, I've listened to the B-side. The A-side with the rap, it could honestly be better mm. i'm sick of the beats mm. i'm sick of the beat i didn't think the beats dun, dun. were that good mm-hmm. it, it could mm-hmm. honestly be better like what, what could be better about it let's talk about it it's it's like it's is they he has some of the tracks there's like boom all right drake i got you i'm with you but some of them like yeah i can vibe to it but it's like mm-hmm. drake this is this isn't what i'm thinking about rap like i understand a drake rap mm-hmm but Drake, when I think of rap, this is not what I'm thinking This about. pains me. This is a painful conversation because I didn't know what to expect. Mm-hmm. And so when I got it, I was just, I, I wasn't thrilled the first time. It didn't give me the feeling the first time, like in other projects that I've heard of Drake's. It didn't even give me the same feeling of when I first listened to Everything is Love last week. I was tweaking. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm not really tweaking. So I don't know if it was just because it was just too much to digest. But I think I, I, think I know what the answer is. Are y'all ready for my hot take? 
Go for it. As much as we all said we would love to hear a full rapping album or a full R&B album and everybody was championing this set, we didn't. We didn't. Too much Drake... Too much rapping Drake is not good to the ears. And too much singing Drake is not good to the ears. A mix. Drake has been so <laughs> successful so far on seven or eight projects is because it has been a mix. It, because mm-hmm. it has been a balance. I actually found out from this album. It just hit me today when we was in the car. Mm-hmm. After we heard rap, after rap, after rap on side A, I said, I'm sick of listening to him Drake. I'm sick of listening to him rap. Especially over those beats. Mm-hmm. I was like, I'm sick of listening to him just rap. And then I got to the B side and I'm like, damn, I'm sick of hearing this nigga whine. I needed the mix. If I could take that album, I would take a good 15 songs at most, maybe 13 or 14, and and put it in an order that I wanted it. Because there were some good songs on there, but just having it in that order where he's rapping, 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 and that, that actually did not work for me. He tried it, and I thank you for trying it because I guess that's what the people wanted, but my take on it is that it just didn't mm-hmm. work. It and didn't you work. To understand it didn't work. how Drake is as a person because, honestly, unless he told us that there was an A side, B side, that one side was supposed mm-hmm, to be rap mm-hmm. and another side was supposed to be R&B. With Drake, you wouldn't have known the difference. Yeah. Like, is is there are some questionable songs on the A side where I, I actually sit there None and of listen. Them can, I'm like, neither side can uh, stand B-side. alone. The That's B-side my thing. Was crazy too. Like, That's the thing. How neither is, one of them can stand this, alone. You can't say you which one do you like better. Just rap. Yeah. Whereas though, I can hear the R&B melody to it. Yeah, mm-hmm. true. And mm-hmm. it's supposed to be on the rap side. And then this track's on the R&B side, I'm like, rapping. okay, I but mean, I can hear the rap melody to this. As a total, I have 14 songs that I thought that were good, from combined from both sides out of 25. That's, and it should have been a four, that's what I just said. It should have been a 14, 14 album. 14, yeah. We, we talked about that. It, it should have been, been a 14, 15 solid, fire-ass album, and not the, like, this is that bad. was the play. Uh, he tried it, and, or wait, are you inclu- but are you including God's plan, Nice yes, For What, and I'm Upset? That's including that, yeah. Damn. That's including that. Yeah, <sighs> yeah, yeah. Th- so you only like 11, 11 of the new 11, songs. 11, technically. 11 of the new songs. I'll, even, uh, I'll name them. I'll name them. I right. got, I have Elevate. I have Emotionless. I have 8 out of 10, which I thought should have been. 8 the, out um, of 10 or Emotionless could have been the intro. He could have went either emotionless, way, Emotionless, no. 8 out of 10 get you but hype he, and it gets you ready for the, for the album. Yes, but it's not like he the, always does hype songs for intros. I think that was he, the best song He brings song you yet. into the mood. But I feel like Emotionless was more the mood of the I don't think emotional. Like he was. spoke the most real stuff on there, and, it, and it had the sample. It belongs in the middle. Okay. It belongs in the middle. I don't know. It belongs All in right, the middle. Keep going. But I have. This is no order. I wish he would have done what he did with Hotline Bling and just threw. I'm upset. Nice for what and God's plan on the end. Just, just throw it as a bonus end. track. <laughs> yeah, I didn't need because I was sick. Yep. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You had to see the memes. They was like when uh, God's plan come on, and it, it was uh, Shannon Sharp like skip. <laughs> Twitter got, is the uh, funniest. Next, I got San, uh, Sandra Rose. I thought that was great. He had a lot of bars in there. Um, talk up. Let's talk about it. Oh, how you copy Hosla? Or is that what you think? I do think. I was like, yo, you gotta calm down. I, I thought it was two ho verses. <laughs> I really do. That's, that's an interesting take because that's not takes, what I was thinking of it. I'll I, tell you what I thought. What do you, what you think? I thought it was a waste of a collab. Like, Hove's verse was cool on its own. But it's not a lot Drake's, of collabs. But that doesn't make it any better. Drake's part was cool, but content-wise, did it match up? Like, did it make any sense? Like, I don't. I still don't know what no, the song is about. It didn't. Talk Up doesn't even make sense. I don't know what the song is about. Like, I can't remember even what Drake was talking about. Hove's verse was just talking about him being a dope boy in a drug game in the streets and stuff. Like, okay, cool. But, like, yeah. is that even what Drake was talking about? No. Like, I don't know <laughs> why y'all got together and made the song. It was a fucking waste. It was a waste. No Hove's verse was cool because we love Hove and like his voice was cool. The beat was crazy, you know. He's talking <laughs> that shit. Da, 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 da. A lot of them beats sound so outdated. Yo. I like to talk a beat. Though. No, I'm talking about a lot of the beats uh, though overall sound outdated or they sound like we need another. He used producer. them before, but he had other producers on there. He had like uh, No ID. He had uh, 1985 on there. A couple other ones. He had uh, okay. good producers on there, but I'm like, yo, <laughs> I don't know. Talk up could have been better. Like it was just very anticlimactic for me. it was like um pop style. It was like when we it was like, come on, like it wasn't if you're gonna take that like it wasn't pound cake, like pound cake had a theme to it. You know what I mean? It wasn't light up, like light up had a theme to it. Like they was all like it, it just made sense for them to be together. Like and this just was like mm, you could have saved that. Yeah. Um yeah, and then I, that's all I have on there. I have God's plan and I'm upset. What? 
That's that's what I have on the first on the A side. Oh, oh, on the A side, on the A side. Then I got. I B-side. thought you were done with the whole album. I'm like, oh, bro, no. I ain't that. I ain't oh, done. I ain't damn, do that. It ain't that bad. Damn, Jersey. <laughs> um, and then the B side, I got finesse, nice for what, jaded, Final Fantasy, in my feelings, after dark, March 14th, mm. after dark, and in my feelings. I like those two. Um, I just feel March like March 14th was like his like. Um, it was this confession okay it's cool, co-parenting it. confession we, yeah and I, I, it pained me it pains me to see Drake this way I think he's just in, okay also this I, I, this is I don't think this is the project he wanted us to have Pusha really altered his whole game plan yeah like yeah. songs were either added or altered after that beef yeah there's no more like wow Absolutely. Drake as a kid like no he might not have even told us he might not even plan to tell us on the album at all that was a PR stunt. So think how many account. songs he's even referencing. Even eight, eight out of ten is like towards Kanye when, because Kanye says, "I'm not going to text you. I'm rich, nigga. You light skin," and that's when he's like, uh, "Oh, you rich? You just got rich or whatever." Da, da, da. Like, so did you make that song? Like, Hove clearly just threw that verse just this this week because X just that last week. So it's like all of these like we thought Drake was working on Scorpion for months and months and months, and then we get all of these songs that are two weeks, three weeks old. Like, I don't think this is the album we wanted or he wanted. Pusha really fucked up the whole game plan. Yeah. He did. That's a dub. Oh, man. What do you think? Listen, the album is overall from, from overall standpoint is straight. Overall, it's cool. Overall standpoint, no, no, it's not bad. Overall not standpoint, bad. the album's straight. If I compare him to anybody else that dropped, he can stand on his own with this album. But it's not mm. the best album. Oh, okay. I, okay, he can stand on his yeah, own. I was about to say, about because... To say. Like I've even, cause listening to this and then thinking back to even when Cole album dropped, mm-hmm. I, I just I just listened to just the house. Feeling. I said my top like my top albums that came out in 2018. Comparing this to KOD is it's gonna, K, it's gonna be J the Cole album is gonna be um, everything is love. Don't try to play no, it. It's not. <gasps> it's gonna be the Cole I album. It's this. gonna be the um. I hate when you do this. Cardi. Then I got uh, Pusha. Oh my God! You still and I'll even I'll put J Rock in there you because J Rock's album was fire. Is love. You still I'm haven't not, said everything. The is concept love. was good. The concept right. was good. All right, but it wasn't that great. You hate it. about the Carter's album. Yes, yes. the concept. It's about the, the music. So, the the sound of it. I'm what are we going, talking about? I'm not gonna lie. I was just talking to Brandon. The sound of it. Beyonce. Just how it sounds. Everything she did with her voice. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Drake did the same thing to his voice. I don't see you doing it. No, because Drake does it all the time. Cause Drake does it all the time. I've never seen be like, you never seen it. Don't throw, get confused. Throw like, like it wasn't that, that good. Was, oh my god, you're just a hater. She's she about to go bar. She's bar somebody up. A it other wasn't female supposed. Rapper. To, what are you talking about? No, no, she, like, I, no I didn't it didn't have nothing, nothing not to do with her barring nobody up. You it was got, just what a, she did to the songs, like concept. how she came in on the song. The concept. She comes in halfway through the songs. If she's coming in on the bridge, if she's coming in on the court, like the different melodies she could go, like the different tones she could go, like it was like damn near a blues album. Like the the stuff that they were talking. Like all right, we're not going. We we had this conversation last podcast, but you're just pissing me off not putting it in. It's better than Daytona. Oh, Daytona was just too short. It's um, better than Daytona. What are you talking about? Everything, talking about, is love is, talking, everything is love is better than Daytona. You're tripping. Okay. You can stand on that. I will. And I am. And I shall. If you know, you know. I don't know, obviously. Mm. So is that it? Is that all we got for Scorpion? Is that our Scorpion take? Yeah, because I just, I just got word NBA Youngboy <laughs> dropped the Reloaded. Who? <laughs> oh, Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that's why this podcast is called Don't Take My Advice Cause oh, man, yeah. NBA, That's the one that they Black China NBA Young Boy Young Boy Never Broke Again You know what I mean No Drop That's two did, different uh, people I thought that No that's did. the same person um, NBA Young Boy And Young Boy Never Broke Again Is the same Yes Oh Never Broke Again Is NBA Yes <laughs> So he switches his names And I'm supposed to be keep up And I'm supposed <laughs> to keep up And I'm supposed to keep up You just gave me two different names For the same person Yes And there's also YFN Lucci and there's also why being all them all, um, all them kids. Whatever. See, see, and y'all talking, y'all looking at me like because I don't know who NBA I'm Young like, Boy is. Uh, I'll, NBA, he, he. What did he even make? He he earlier this year he dropped until death called my name and now he just dropped the. Give me a song stuck. One song. My what song. My, my song off that is outside today. Oh, I'm coming outside today. Did yeah. I say that right? No, well. Uh, <laughs> Try high for the She was in here like, I'm coming I out. out today. <laughs> Couldn't find my tech. So I'm drinking on act today. Hey. She really is about to get in her like hey. bag right now. I'm coming out. Yeah. We heard you the first time and it wasn't funny. 
That's what he was on. Come on, man. You gotta get your. Anyways, is that it for Scorpion? I mean, what would you give it? What are we leaving? Um, I give seven point five. I give it a seven. Yeah, it's not coming out of the sevens. Rank it in Drake's discography. I'll tell you. Last. Whoa! I put it behind What a Time to Be Alive. Whoa! <laughs> no, it wasn't that bad. It grew. I did grow on me. Like I, I just think it was way too much um, to digest. But the fifth time around, I did like more songs than I did the first time around. I for like, sure. I like more life more. I like. Uh, more Yesterday, life I went more. on Twitter and ranked <laughs> Drake's projects, and I'll, mm-hmm. as soon as I pull it up, I'll tell y'all, and I'll, I'll give y'all my list and thing. More and then life we'll move was on. better. I think. Uh, okay, I had, and people argue argued with me. I had one, take care, two, nothing was the same, three, thank me later, four, if you're reading this, it's too late, five, views, six, more life, seven, one at a time. And people were saying that nothing was the same is better than take care. It's not Why better do people take say care. that? It's not better than take care. First take of all, care is his best take album. Care. What are we nothing was the same about? was crazy, though. It was, that was it his, was best, his rap, best rap best album. Best rapping he's ever done. I agree. But just take care is... Nothing was the same. Had some skips on it. Like, Yo, if he would have just put uh, Tuscan Leather at the beginning, I would have let it slide. I could skip Legend. I at could, the beginning, I could skip going. Connect. They're good songs, but I could skip them. Like I can skip. I can, I'm skipping. Started from the bottom. Like I'm skipping a little bit. On I'm nothing only skipping. Take from care. The I'm never skipping. Like I'm not skipping anything. Oh, no, I'm running I'm not it back. Skipping anything. On <laughs> take care. I'm not skipping nothing. On nothing was the same. Okay. Except you. for except for started from the bottom. Three or four people told me that nothing was the same was better than Take Care, and I don't understand it. Wait, wait. What what songs were on it? Were on this uh, poll again? Wait, wait, what's okay. albums? Take Care is number one. Nothing was the same, number two. Thank Me Later, number three. Mm. Thank mm. Me Later, I don't know about that, but... Oh, I'll, I'll put Thank Me Later higher. Which would you switch? It's one, two, and three. Take Thank Me Later has to go has to go top two. So you're taking out which one stuck? Which one? You can't... I'm taking out Nothing Was The Same. No! I'll, 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 I'll I don't be think, honest. I don't agree. I'll, I don't agree. <laughs> I'll be honest it, with pull you. Pull it up. Pull it up. Pull it up. Pull, it up. pull up what's on uh, Thank Me Later. I I'll, forget. I'll be honest with you. Fireworks with Alicia Keys. Light up. Light up. John with Jeezy. Yeah, yes. Listen, I'm, I'm, not, oh, I'm not skipping nothing. Nikki's on, on there. I'm not skipping. Uh, over. Up all night. Up over. all night. Oh, I'm not skipping. you might be right, Ducky. You might be right. Shoot, but, even but people was putting nothing was the same top one. So, like, what is this list? Which one is it? Hold on about the like, bar. I just pulled it up. We got Fireworks. Uh, on, karaoke, karaoke, the resistance mm. over. Show mm. me a good time. Show me up uh, all night. Uh, uh, Shut uh, it down. Drake, we miss you. Unforgettable. This is the Drake we miss. Light up. Miss I'm about you. to cry. Find your love. This is just Ooh. reminding me of like thank my high now. school. Okay, and you can thank me now. Uh, you're right. Yeah, man. I don't know if I can skip anything. That's better thank than me nothing. Later, was the yeah, same. I know what I said. So is that better than nothing was the same? Yes. Yeah. Yes. That's two. Damn. Yeah. All right. All right. Top all right. Good call. Good call. This is, good this call. is debatable. Good I'm good up for it. Two. I'm here for it. If you're reading this, is better than views. Yeah. 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 I was iffy about if you're reading this because that's when Drake was, put his bad boy I'm mask not gonna lie, on. I was iffy about views. I was, Everybody's I was super iffy about, about views. But when you listen to views, but back, it got, it got some good playback value. Yeah. Like Fire that's and Desire. True. Like nobody thinks about Fire and Desire, but that's so that's nah. a deep song. I'm going to be honest with you. After I probably listen to views once, I haven't really gone back and listened to views. I think I a lot it. of things that killed Drake's uh, albums were his like his singles and the rollouts. Like when he reached like super supreme could, icon level that's not his fu- fault it's like it's just hard to keep listening to those singles yeah. when they're on the album because jay made a point that to that point he said like oh there's no like really like everybody was waiting for scorpion to come out to get some summer anthems or some jams and i'm like he gave y'all nice for what like we just don't want to hear it no more but like it's on scorpion like we just can't be mad uh, he gave us god's plan he gave us i'm upset like i would have liked those songs mm-hmm. i, I would have mm-hmm. liked the album better if i never heard them before and just heard them for the first time and counted this in my scorpion review but i just i'm not counting it i'm counting everything else on there but like those are his singles because they're the best songs and we just they we're are. just sick of them they are. They are. <laughs> i mean i can't lie they like what can you say song. it's just hard like when you come like ultimate commercial my last point on this when you're like yeah, that ultimate commercial level it's hard to keep on like competing with better yourself. and competing with yourself because you at the you're not grinding no more mm-hmm. like you're not at the bottom like i can only talk about what i'm going through it's hard to keep talking about the streets and drugs and stuff like that i'm Drake gonna get lost talking about that though i know he tries he tries but some people are against yeah it. i don't really even know what he was talking about on scorpion ever. like the only thing i cared about was like the stuff he was talking about on emotionless kids. and his kid problems but like what else does he have to talk about yeah. i said that before the album came out what is he gonna be talking about i don't yeah. know 
because yeah. he's stuck in now he's stuck in this like he, first he was oh I'm a bad I'm a bad guy I'm cocky I'm coming after everybody and like that tone was a little lighter on this album like he's a little bit more vulnerable he's but it's little... like it's not enough for of either one like we either love Drake when he's crying and missing his ex or we love Drake when he's talking shit on everybody and this is like right in the middle he's touchable like, now like he push the t-shirt like he's touchable mm. like we used to think that uh, Damn, Kendrick he really or Cole that nigga. was the only one <laughs> was the only people that can get him out of here so when he talked that shit him. when he talked that shit we was listening like oh yeah yeah, yeah nobody can get him out of here maybe Kendrick Maybe Kendrick. Um, Pusha T came out the closet like, hey. Did you hear the story about uh, how uh, he stood up Tiffany Haddish and said he had a family emergency? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. What? Wait, who said that? So Tiffany Haddish came out and said that after they shot the Nice For What video, she wanted to date Drake. I, let me read it because I don't know who came uh who approached who but apparently they were supposed to go to dinner and she said like i like canceled i had like a gig like a hundred thousand dollar gig i canceled it like i was ready and like i'm literally sitting there waiting for this nigga to pull up and he texts me like sorry i got a family emergency wait wait, wait. i'm good love <laughs> <laughs> enjoy <laughs> first of all why does tiffany had run her mouth so much this is why does she keep giving these that's answers? why that, do we do we like her for this got canceled yes <laughs> thank you Thank you. Drake hit it with the I'm good love. Enjoy. I'm good love. He probably called Beyonce like, should I do it, B? <laughs> she said, I don't really have a lot of time for it, but when somebody asks me out on a date that I'm interested in and like hanging out with, I will clear the schedule. I'll make some you time. You did one said. video with the man. He's like, man, I'm so excited about the video. Man, I'm excited about the video too. He was like, we should hang out sometime. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, I'm down to hang. I'm cool to hang. You know, you let me know. And he was like, let me take you to dinner. And I was like, that sounds good. And he was like, okay, cool, cool. We'll make it work. Then she says she blocked out her schedule. So I got my schedule. Oh, she says, so I got my mustache waxed. You know what I'm saying? Got my armpits waxed. I hate Tiffany Haddish so much. <laughs> got me a little dress. Then I'm like, so what time are we heading out? Are you sending a car? Like, where are we going? And he's like, oh, man, my bad. Family emergency. I'm in Canada oh, right now. I know now. what happened. I know what happened. He met his son. <laughs> it all that makes the, sense. That, that was a family day. emergency. His son. Man, would you date Tiffany oh, Haddish? <laughs> would you date Tiffany Haddish? Um... <laughs> I don't know. She runs her mouth too much. Like I don't want my business all on the streets. This is that's exactly why Beyonce's having her son yeah, in disclosure. It's like everything. Why does every day of your life have to be a story? Yeah, but people love. People are like that's why she got on because she's so honest and people love her for that. I'm like, nah, no. you you about to not be around. Like people's not even about. <laughs> she to got on because understand. she's like a new face. She's pretty funny. Um, she's very talented. She's not that funny. Sorry, black power, black girl power, black girl magic, lover. I support her. I she don't is, want her to she lose. Is, she is, she is Tiffany Haddish is not funny, she fam. Is personality. They gave Tiffany Haddish, but we're going to get to the BET Awards. We can actually skip to that because they gave her best actress over Angela Bassett. <laughs> Angela Bassett was excuse like me twenty five over years. Lupita. <laughs> Angela Bassett was Tina Turner was, in the who flesh. Who she against? Lupita and Angela Bassett. That's all you need to hear, and she won. That's all you need to know. There was more people in there, but. She beat those two. And oh, what are we calling acting? What like, are you talking what, about? What are we calling acting for giving it to Tiffany Head? That's, that's what, what I'm saying. Oh, about. no, you're agreeing with me. I thought you were talking about girls trip, if anything. That's it. She's only been in one movie. Oh, she got, I think she does have a show. Like, is she, like, this is my thing. Like, I feel like acting he, he is, was just is the, the act of, um, of you putting on a Tiffany Head is Tiffany Head and everything she's in. It's like giving, she's herself. It's like, that's like giving Kevin Hart the best actor award. Like no, he's Kevin Hart is Kevin Hart. Every, every time movie. I every time I, I see Kevin Hart in anything, it's, it could be an animated movie. I'm like, damn, that's Kevin Hart. Yeah, he could little be. rabbit. Yeah, what was that? Pets life. Secret, Pets, life, of Secret Pets. life of Pets. Yeah, I'm yeah, like, damn, why like, I got yo. Kevin Hart playing this dumbass <laughs> rabbit? So, did y'all see the BET Awards? Nope. Damn, stuck. You didn't see him? <laughs> you watched him? I saw Cassie. Cassie, man. <laughs> BET. Listen, yo, if you're listening, we ain't got cable. Well, uh, I, I streamed it. Oh, I'll send you my uh, my dad's fire slink. Shout out to that. Uh, we don't got cable either. Listen, I try to find. <laughs> I try to find on the fire. Stick. I logs in. BT, I stream. Have it, we so. stream in my household. I mean, so BT. Um, I just need y'all to do me a favor now that Deborah Lee is out. Like, please hire some actual working journalists to host your stuff. Cause Cassie, she's cute and all, but she didn't have a fucking clue what she was she doing. She been on the camera since. Uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> Terrence J had to come Since help her. Me. Like she was like, "Yeah, Cassie's prompter is off. We're just gonna no, it's not. She's just trash." Like they cut the camera to her. She was like looking around. She was like, "Um, Terrence, Wait, like, this was, is a Terrence whole, was Terrence yes, the whole time." she hosted oh, the. I, I know. I, I, I got to. I, I should have pulled up. You the tweet. can see on his face like he's like, "Man, this is why I left." I gotta pull up. The, <laughs> I, I should have pulled up the tweet, but she maybe I'll no grab the file and we can plug it in at, at this little splice. But like she was looking. But she around wasn't the worst part. No idea what she, she was wasn't doing. the worst part. What? Oh Jimmy, no, that was just the beginning. Fox was the that was just worst the beginning. part. I just missed the days when I loved the BET Awards, like when Monique was hosting, like when Steve Harvey was hosting, like when Will Smith was hosting. Like the like they showed a clip, like Michael Jackson and James Brown performed together on the BET Awards. Like where else were you gonna find those moments for us? And now it's like we got it's Nikki doing joke. dumb shit. Like, I just, did you see Nikki's performance? Stuck, you didn't see it. I'm pissed you didn't see it. No. <laughs> And the, and, the, and the crazy part is, I didn't even care. I know. I had to watch it just because I had to talk about it. Mm-hmm. But it's whatever. So that's it. That's all we got for the BET Awards. Is that all they got for us? I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Jamie questions. Fox was pretty terrible. Um, that was the, I mean, he's too talented to be that bad. He just won it. And I think that's, they were just like, they probably tried to give him a script. And he was like, no, that's cool. I'll just go up there and do my thing. Like, and he was like so awkward. Like he brought like Childish Gambino up to sing. <laughs> he brought Michael, B- stuck. He brought Michael B. Jordan up on stage to do his line off of Black Panther. He was really trying to feel like, feel as to much say, time hey, as possible. To say, hey, auntie? No, to say, um. Is I'll jump from the ship. Jump oh. off the ship instead this of being This is why my ancestor jumped from okay, the ships because they knew bondage was better than one. whatever. And Michael B. was like, you sure you want me to do this? Like, he's like, yeah, come on. Come on. Black, Black Honda. Black Honda. Whose idea? Who was in? I just wanted to be in that meeting where they were like, I got an idea for the theme of the BET Awards. <laughs> instead of Wakanda. Black Honda. They were like, yes. First of all, the fact that they called it Black Honda. They was in the Viacom. The fact that they called it Black Honda. They was in the Viacom building. Like, I think that's it. I seen that was called Black Honda, and I said, I'm not watching. It's disrespect. Come on, bro. Who could have hosted? Me. Anybody. (laughs) Yes. Anybody, but Jay. But Jay. But like, no. Don't. Let's not say that because I wanted Jamie to do. Like, it wasn't a bad. Pick. I forget who did it in years past. I didn't. I laughed once. Because like they had like Tracy Ellis Ross and like Anthony, whatever his name is, hosted in the past, and that was weak. Like Jamie was a good pick. He just did terribly. He had his kid come on at the end of the show and like sing, say the verses of the Bible. Like it was just anything going on. It was anything going on. I think they got it, and they also don't take it serious enough. Like I didn't like all the sets. I only set I like was Meek Meek. set when he made it to Philly. And hers. And hers. Hers. She was. I got a question. No, I like. I like hers performance like she was amazing i like Jan- janelle monet was amazing Janelle's was good i think they gotta do more and invest I'll be more sleeping in janelle monet. she's hard yo oh yeah, man, she can she's, she's a rapper i don't know she raps i just never listened to her she's amazing listen she's an amazing artist don't take my advice i never listened to janelle monet <laughs> i'm trash this is why we ain't taking your advice good don't so i have a question for you yeah, guys she's beautiful is her better than SZA? i'm not comparing them i'm, stand I'm asking you to compare them i don't care you can't say you're not comparing them when i'm asking you to compare them no means no it's probably gonna be a lot of listeners upset at me. I would have to listen to a her track in order to compare them. You never heard her? No. Jesus. Yes, you did. <sighs> You're a DJ. <laughs> no, you would never play a her track at a party. If you love me, won't you say something? All right, so I had to go out on a whim and say which one was if better. If you love me, won't you? I'm 100% saying SZA is better because um, mm. she makes more um, diverse content. I and she's, to let you know. Her features are like top five like she's done some great features as well and she's written some hit songs and she has she's just talented this is album was better i don't know if her right it's not that. Does her right yeah that, uh, does her right <laughs> her been out for like 10 years that i and i didn't know that she went under a different name her name was like gabby something back in the day and she that. was yeah she came out when she was like 15 um joe budden told me this on the podcast did you listen to this week's episode nah. he says that uh her name was Gabby something like they and that's why she changed her whole like she did a whole rebrand with this her really? thing like that's why she didn't really want to show her face because she didn't want nobody to remember that she was already out like seven years ago yeah. they wanted her to be this like pop star and like that she's just a reserve so at first show, she when she wasn't showing her face back. I literally thought like oh my gosh she must be she must look like Daniel Caesar oh man <laughs> wow and then she oh, came man. out and I was like oh, yo she's, 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 bad she's gorgeous joke. but now that you say that I really wish Daniel Caesar was more attractive. Like, I feel like he would be way much of a bigger star. Like, his voice does not Yo. match that face. <laughs> it's a bad no shame, job. but like, shaking my head. He came out on the stage. I said, "Yo, his voice comes out of that face, <laughs> Lord." 
that's that's messed up. But shout out to Daniel C. <laughs> <laughs> so, did you watch the NBA awards? No part of. I don't have. Okay, it. so don't you understand? Not did you watch the NBA awards? <laughs> what do you think about um, Ben Simmons getting Rookie of the Year? What you mean? What I think about that? <laughs> oh my God! I forgot we was in Philly. What you mean? What I Mark, think about that? Mark Philly. raises fists in the air. Like blah, blah, blah. Blah. I know we're, we're in Jersey. What you mean? We're still in Philly. <laughs> what you mean? What I think about Ben? I mean, I don't like the choice. Did he Ben's. deserve it? I don't like the choices Ben's making off the court. Is but about messing with them generous? Is he? Did, did Ben deserve it? I yes. did a poll and um, mad yes. people said no. Yes. This is what I have to say. Is he a rookie? Ben, yeah. Yes, he's a second on year player. paper he is still a rookie. He's in yeah, he's in year one and a half. Um, That's like saying if if you're short, say you go through two semesters your freshman year, and you're short that credit to be on paper considered a sophomore. You're you, still you're you are still a, freshman. a freshman. You are a freshman. You're still a freshman. He's yeah, still a rookie. That's different because he, he's you, still a rookie. You wasn't making. You don't like, think Donovan Mitchell was better than Ben this year? He Don- he carried a team. He carried a team that lost their superstar. They both did. If you think about it, Philly the, never had a superstar since since he had Iggy. But I'm, not, I'm not saying that lost the superstar, yeah. but more so the the carrying. He has not beat a brittle and don't. Was. He had Embiid. He had Embiid. Embiid, Embiid didn't play back to back majority of the season. Hold up, he had Embiid, JJ Redick, and a whole bunch of supporting cast that were good the previous season, and they developed. That's what I'm saying. A Pete. nice supporting Shout cast. Out to Jim McConnell, Pittsburgh in the building. Still, yeah, Ben yeah. still put it on the mat, like with Embiid. Like he, Embiid was the front was the front runner, but Ben. The players didn't even vote Ben. The players didn't even vote Ben. Nobody voted for Embiid's him. Ve- you guys understand it. Embiid is very talented, yo. Embiid, if he could play a full season in full minutes, he could be an MVP candidate. Like he is talented. That boy. Can Embiid go. is a monster. He just needs. So to, what is your point? He just needs to see if he could. So you're he's, saying he's ben playing ben with that kind of it. talent? Okay. He's playing with that kind of talent. Mm-hmm. Who the? I mean, given he had the defensive player of the year, but he was the one making the moves on offense. He's the about? one. I'm talking about Donovan Rudy Mitchell. Gobert. I'm talking about yeah, yeah. Rudy Gobert, defensive player of the year. He Donovan Mitchell was the one making the plays, running the offense, everything. Um, he did have um, he didn't R- Rubio's running the point. Yeah, Ricky Rubio's running the point, but who was the scorer? He was the gunner the whole time. He and he played defense. He played both ways. He did his thing. He wasn't limited <laughs> because he couldn't shoot shots at all. Did James Harden deserve MVP? No. They gave him that pity MVP. Honestly. <laughs> they, they, here, honest- ugly, always asking for something. It's like when a little kid come up and keep asking right, you for when, some candy and you're you, like, here, When you look at it. the NBA, like, facet, like, you see a trend, though, with MVPs. Like, you see a trend. Normally, the MVP is the best player of the best team in the league and during the regular season, yeah. and that's exactly LeBron. what happened. It, I'm a... But you, you really want to be honest. Look at the, the stats. Rockets were, LeBron was better see, this year. And that's, and and that's, that. and Bron- that's completely understandable. And but here's when my you problem look at too, it from like, a full stand, no, that's, the MVP generally goes to the best player from the best team in the league. So then the he's not the most the valuable. One. So then he's not the most valuable. LeBron is the most valuable Talk person. To and he said the same. Silverman. And and Bron said the same thing when Steph kept getting. He was like, obviously, I'm the most. I don't know what the definition of valuable is. And obviously, Bron is in the conversation every year of who could be. He could be MVP. He's either you know four five, you know four three or two. Easily. But this year, he re- like if all the years that he's a contender, this year. At year 15, doing what he did with that sad-ass Cleveland team, that the fact that they even made it to the finals, bro, I had us getting out round one. Yo, what? <laughs> his second-best player was uh, Kyle Corver. Bro. <laughs> wow, you just cancel out Kevin Love? This, this man. Kevin, I'm canceling stop, out Kevin stop. Love. Stop, He's canceled. Yes, indeed, He's canceled. I am canceling out Kevin Love. I don't even remember what he did that entire <laughs> Kevin Love don't know playoff what he did. Kevin Love said they'd be like, yo. <laughs> Kevin, Kevin Love was, was a Were you was there? A second highest scorer in the majority of the playoffs. Yes, okay, and <sighs> them, it would be like Braun points. had 60 and the rest of the team <laughs> had 20 combined. Like, yeah, he was the second high because he had eight and the rest of the team had three, four, and two. Kevin Love was the second highest scorer. Like, beat it. Like, no, I'm not hearing it. 60 and everybody, the next best player, yeah. 13 points. Yeah, two. How great was he? And then everybody will use no. that. And that's oh, what everybody goes into the argument how, yeah, LeBron Bron's trash. Like, yes, Kevin Love scoring 13 points. How dare you say you need help? <laughs> like, yo. Man, man. Yo, Bron's a free agent. Where's he going? Tell me. Now, what's your prediction? Go. Philly. I don't, I don't, Philly I don't doesn't need him. him. Philly, I, that'll mess up y'all. the whole chemistry yes, of the team. Listen, I'm trolling. Don't do it. I'm trolling. 
He, he, I know for a fact he goes to the Lakers league. and plays. No, I don't want him going to the Lakers with, either. Uh, either he's going to play with PG. He's definitely playing with PG. I don't know about Kawhi because I don't think the Spurs won't give him up for. Uh, can we just talk about how Braun <laughs> can? And we just said this earlier today what? when I was talking to you. Braun has been in the league fifteen seasons. And only three times has he found a team that worked for him. It's so hard to make a team work for LeBron. He just, you just can't do it. He's tried to be athletic. He's tried to bring the old niggas. He's tried to bring a bunch of new niggas. He's tried to shoot. He's tried to dunk. He's tried to have defense. He's tried to just do it on his own. Like none, it so, it doesn't work. It only worked in Miami so for a blip, and that for real, for real, Miami should have been like a five run dynasty. Like, and 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 then it just all of a sudden so it I'm didn't tell work. I'm it tell just you why. stopped working because niggas why. learned how to shoot. No, I did. Because I'm going to tell you why Miami died out. I'm, Miami died out because the team used to run through D-Wade and LeBron. D-Wade's knees started getting old, and he couldn't run that way no more. So them doing fast breaks and stuff like that, LeBron and D-Wade, that, that. That, that came back down. They started shooting, and that's when yeah, The rest saw, of the league started shooting. You saw what? Mike Miller. You saw uh, Ray Allen. Shane Battier, Ray yeah. Allen. You saw them getting kicked out more. They were just penetrating, kick out. That's what they were doing because they had elite shooters around them, and that's when that started happening. the Spurs came and Their athleticism them. came down. Spurs came back. Wop them, wop them on that. Damn. So do you think <laughs> they, LeBron should have stayed? That was in Miami? good. That was God's work when the Spurs won because they were making shots, contested shots from like half court. <laughs> I just, I'm, I just, uh, it's just, I just find it hard. For, I don't know if Bron will ever figure it out. I don't know if there's, especially with that Warriors team. I don't know if he'll ever be able to find a team to beat that team unless he literally joins the Warriors. I, they said him and Kevin Durant are trying to go to the. I swear to God, if, if, if LeBron and Kevin, Kevin Durant no, not going to go together. ever gets on the same team, I'm walking away from the entire NBA. I'm going to be boycotting <laughs> in front of it. Like, what is the point anymore? What are we even I talking think that, about? I think that uh, I think if you put Braun with either one or two really good athletes that are versatile, and then you compile that, that with hold on, you compile that with a whole bunch of shooters. That's and a stretch big. <laughs> You're good. You just named Philly. I can't name Philly because Ben Ben Simmons can't shoot. And that's the same thing I see in the Lakers because their point guard can't shoot. He can't. That's the problem. Like, you, everybody Dude, on the Lonzo? team. Lonzo? Lonzo can't shoot. He can't shoot. You t- Don't get me started. That boy had like a point. Uh, had a 29% percent Bron just needs to go point, to a team uh, where percent. everybody, sh- like, he just has all shooters. Like, Bron and four three-point shooter. Like, no big man. Like, <laughs> Like, he can just let him drive and diss, drive and diss, drive and diss, because there's no other way you're going to score and more points than the Warriors. I've seen Lonzo hit, hit a shot all season. You cannot all, all score season. more points than the Warriors. He's been playing with his dog all off season. And his baby. Oh, he's still got a baby. Does she have her baby already? Oh, congrats you're, to the ball. You are hiding a child. Get your merch, get your merch. You see that video? <laughs> get your merch, get your merch. That video was hard, Joe. You better not hide that child. I'm telling Pusher. Um, wow. Braun is also going to be on Space Jams, too. Are you looking forward to that? That's actually happening. No? First of all, I've been waiting for Space Jam 2 since like 08. <laughs> when Bron into the league. No, no, not even 08. 06, 05. Like, that's how long tweet. we've been waiting for. If he loses lose one more finals, he can, th- he can throw that away with his career. Let me tell you this tweet. Somebody says, report Space Jam 2 trailer to launch after LeBron's free agency announcement. Somebody said, I feel like I should be crazy excited for this, but we just watched LeBron play a whole team season with the, with the two, two squad. squad. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I've seen. Yeah, listen. I've seen that tweet. Yes. The Toon Squad. The Warriors are the monsters. Yeah. <laughs> They're impossible to win. I don't know. I'm sick of I'm sick of basketball. I'm sick of football. What's next on the docket? I'm sick of sports. I know. What's for next? real, for real. Um, we can talk about some some sad life stuff. I just wanted to Oh man. Are we I ending know. this way? No, no, we're not going in this way, but we <laughs> have to acknowledge. Um, first of all, yesterday, uh an active shooter went into a newsroom and um Killed five reporters. I know mean, four of them were reporters. One was a, a staff. Um, I mean, uh, um, sales. One was in sales. Um, and this happened in Annapolis, Maryland. So um, I want to say rest in peace to them. Prayers up to that. Like just being working in the newsroom, being a journalist. Like the guy who did it um, actually had like a long going beef with the newspaper. Um, they wrote about him. Over he, what? He, so I'll tell you, he had a harassment charge or something back in like 2013 he was like harassing somebody on facebook or whatever the case may be but we, they, they wrote about the story it was a crime story they wrote about mm-hmm. it and he um 
like and the, the two reporters that did it i don't even know if they work there anymore but he was like harassing the reporters and he filed a lawsuit against them for defamation and he ended up losing um hmm. i think in 2014 i might be getting these dates wrong so excuse me if i am because i, I should have just pulled the article up but um yeah, so he had a long-standing beef with these reporters. He claimed, I mean, he, he's obviously off his rocker. He had a harassment charge. He was stalking somebody. You know what I mean? So it's right, like, right, right. it's just, I mean. I just, the world we live in, man. Prayers up to their families. I was off work yesterday, but everybody definitely. was messaging. Uh, well, no, I was actually, I was out of, uh, I was down in Atlantic City, but everybody in my newsroom was like messaging me, like, is everybody okay? Like, how's your headspace? Like, our bosses reached out to us and was like, you know, like, if you guys are feeling any type of way or if you feel like, you know, we need to do any type of extra training so that, you know, anything we could do to make you guys feel safe. Like when journalists are getting attacked every day, when your, your president is out here talking about fake news and all this other stuff, it's real. Like it's real. Like, cause that's, that's the first thing I thought about when I heard about that attack. I was like, I wonder if that's a hate crime because of the yeah. fake news. That's stuff what that everybody Donald thought. Trump, Donald Trump pe- preaches. So yeah. I'm like, I hope he that's said, not like, then he's, that's like he's put, come on, man. he's put out threats to journalists before. I mean, it's just like disgusting. Like, uh, and shout out to it's called Capital Gazette. Shout out to them. They fucking reported on their own tragedy. They printed their newspaper. They were tweeting about it. They had an article written about their own tragedy. Like, could you imagine? Like, they went coming in to there work and actually and doing wrote that. up their own tragedy. They wrote up profiles on each person that died, and they were they were like, according to police, like they did it as if it happened somewhere else. Like, according to police, this happened. Like. I just couldn't fucking imagine. I couldn't imagine. And they were like, God damn it, we're going to put out a paper tomorrow. And shout out to them. Like, just rest in peace to all the families. I hope all those people, I hope all everybody that, that experienced that trauma, I hope they all get man, some time oh to man. really to themselves. Like, I hope they don't do not let make them go to work and do, let them have a time off. One let of them the, relax. One of the guys that actually works there used to intern at the place I'm at now um, in Jersey. And so uh, he was tweeting and he was like, you know, I cover stuff like this all the time. But you don't, you know, like I, I try to, ex- I try to, to explain to you what other people's trauma is. That's every tragedy. You but never like, think you it don't really know happen to you what it's like until, until you're happens. hiding under your desk and you hear somebody reload a gun. Like that's what he tweeted. And I was like, Jesus Christ. I could psh, take me. I don't want to survive that. I was, <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't want to survive that. I really don't like I would be so messed up for the rest of my life. Like I just can't imagine. I can't imagine. I can't imagine. And I'll tell you one thing about it that pissed me off, though, is I heard, um, the police stormed in and the shooter was like hiding under a desk and his gun was a couple feet away from him. And it's just crazy how he gets taken out alive and he, he, he's not a threat after he just killed five people, but uh, justice for Antoine Rose jr. In Pittsburgh was running away and he was shot in the back. Didn't have any gun on him, any weapon. Didn't know what, if he was a suspect in a future, I mean, in a drive by shooting, didn't know nothing. And he ran away and thank God, for Pittsburgh, I just want to say how proud of you guys I am. I was so emotional all week when I when I heard that they charged that cop with criminal homicide. I couldn't believe it. I could not fucking believe it. I was shocked. And everybody on my timeline was like, well, you know, he got on a bail. And, you know, okay, cool. I, I, I get that. The system is still fucked up. But he, they could have easily said that this man felt threatened and let his ass walk. And he could have still been on the job today. So the fact that he even got criminal charges, you guys shut down 376. You guys shut down. Like, you guys are still protesting, even after the charges. And I just couldn't be more proud. I'm sharing all the racist comments on Facebook, on WPXI and KDK's comments. Every time they report about it, you got white people in the comments talking about, uh, uh, we're better off without him. And he deserved it. And put tear gas and water hoses on those protesters and all oh, you guys are oh you're protesting during the day because all y'all are on welfare and you don't have a job it's just it's disgusting what we have to deal with and nobody fucking understands it unless you're in it and it's it's just so crazy because we hear about freddie gray and tamar rice and trayvon and like you see the protests happening in other cities but when it happens in your fucking home man, your hometown like we're from pittsburgh man so it's like that's your hometown never, my family sitting there like talking about it i have family members that went down the protests mm-hmm. and things like that and that, that hits home like, antoine that hits home. was a cousin so of somebody that i know pittsburgh like, it was so somebody small. that i know's cousin like it like this is it can happen to any of us and he he, like thank god for that woman that recorded it like just i just hope that justice is finally served i know it's just a first step and everybody was like oh well you know he got on on bail and he gets to go home yeah that part's fucked up but at least he was charged and that's all i just want to leave it at that um justice for antoine rest in peace to him rest Rest in peace to to your family yeah um, just prayers up for the city yeah for real 
Um, and rest in peace to the kid junior that got killed in the Bronx. Another crazy story that happened right around the same time. I mean, it's just shit's just crazy. Everybody just it's be careful out there, it's man. All, man it's, 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 Ooh, it's a crazy world. Ooh. Summertime is My hot chest. Out. All right. I need to play some, <laughs> some some happy music now. I'm a little down, but I... Uh, Listen, stuck in the mix volume four. Yeah. <laughs> well, stuck shameless in the mix volume plug. four. We need to get that. All right. So, speaking of crime, and not to be insensitive, but power comes on this weekend. Are you ready? Always. Are you excited? I don't know if it's going to be as good. As, oh. It was on a decline. <laughs> it's on, it was on a decline. Like... <laughs> These motherfuckers teamed up like a Power Rangers. I was like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. on. Chill out, chill out. I just don't know where else they're going to go. Did you see that meme going around where it's like, when... No, we have to kill Drake. No, no. (laughs) Come on. No, they were like... It was like ghosts crying outside of Angela's door when he broke up, and they were like ghosts when uh, him and Angela break up versus ghosts when his daughter dies, and like he wasn't even crying. (laughs) R.I.P. Raina, man. Justice for Raina, fam. What, what what where do we go next with power? What what are your predictions this season? They said that's fifty six seven seasons. What season are we on now? Five, four or five. I think it's five for sure. And we're on four. Oh we're sh- on four. For real? I, I don't know how Dang. you get three more seasons. How do you get the three more seasons? They got it. Oh man. They everybody. I didn't know this was only season four. How they be killing people <laughs> off? No, for <laughs> real. Are we, we going to make that. it to seven? I know. R.I.P. Julio. R.I.P. Reina. <laughs> R.I.P. Sean. <laughs> R.I.P. Lobos, man, that was my guy. <laughs> he was like three seasons. Lobos was one of the best. Yeah, like he was hard. Like I don't know. And for real, for real, what's messed up is like last season was kind of boring. That him and Angela wasn't fucking around. Like I don't like Angela, but the yeah, fact that they her. wasn't dating, I'm yeah. like eh, yeah, that was yeah. that was a big storyline. I don't know. I wish they had more interaction with them hating each other. Yeah, yeah. Well, he was in jail for most that's, of it. You know what I mean, that's, that's for most of the season. Like, he, was, yeah. he was, he was, he was. Last season was like a, a lot about Tariq, Tariq, and oh yeah, Tariq can go. He I can still go. Tariq can still go. They can't kill off Dre, so it's like, how is this going to end? Like, unless you kill off Dre, because like each time there was a bad guy, it was Lobos, it was the Russian guy, you know, whatever. But like, what now? We got to kill off Dre? I don't know if we're killing off Dre. Then what? You know, like what do we keep? I don't know. I don't know what they're going to do, but I'm excited. <laughs> I'm yeah. excited. We'll Just gotta wait and see. That's wait all. and see. For real, for real. Hopefully, all the episodes don't get leaked again. Jay and I seen Jurassic World, and it was terrible. Trash. Oh. Where they go? They, they should never oh. went anywhere with that after Lord. they got done with the ones in the um, '90s and early 2000s. Jura- no, because I like Jurassic World. I like the last one, but the little amusement park was cute. But um, they- I keep hearing mis- mixed reviews on it. I heard some people say it's good. Some people oh. don't like it. It was terrible, man. It just was so point like. It was just pointless. Like, I just didn't need this it. Is it didn't move I think I was, the I was, series forward. This, I was talking random. to my little cousin about it. He said, like, literally, they were only on the actual cousin? island. He's 16 now, I want to say. He's still young. He, he Regardless. That shit. He, but he was critiquing no, it. No, no, he said, was he, he said, like, they were only on the island, actually, for only all of, like, 15 Ten minutes. minutes. 15, yeah, and yeah. then they said, Two let's seconds. bring dinosaurs indoors. <laughs> Hey, I got some space in my in my basement. Let's bring yeah. This will be a thriller. Let's bring them into the basement. Like, how about we throw a banger in my basement with what dinosaurs? Are we t- oh my Ooh. god! I just remember how much like Sound lit. Jurassic Park <laughs> three was so good. Like just the storyline was better. Like I'm just so sick of Chris, whatever his name is. Like it just was just pointless. There just was no point for it. It was just no point. Like then the little girl was a clone, and they like rushed right over that. They could have made the storyline about her. I mean, it just was bad. So if you haven't seen it, sorry for the spoilers, but. Don't waste your time. And I'm still mad I didn't see Incredibles 2 yet. I have not seen it yet. I'm crushed. It was good? Oh, man. I said I haven't seen it yet, so I, I will get to that as well. All right. Well, uh, that's all I got for it. What, what else? You guys got anything else in the docket? What, what, time, what time are you on, Mark? We good on time? Yeah. All right. What else? Oh. I, I have to say this. Go ahead. Yo, John Travolta's last movie got a 0% on um, Rotten Tomatoes. <laughs> what movie was that? What was the movie called? I don't know what it was called. I just heard the report. I saw, like, the headline. I was like, what was it called, Mark? Gotti. 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 Yeah, Gotti. No. You, h- how do oh. you fall with that? Oh. oh, man. I have a question for you guys. What's up? Let's see if I can find it because I tweeted it out. Okay. This is random. I don't know where I thought about this. I think I seen something on Twitter. Okay, would you allow your girlfriend to get a sugar daddy that only wanted to text her and go out on a date with her like twice a month, nothing physical, and in exchange, she gives her like 5 to 10K monthly, she uses it for y'all's bills and to fund vacations. Would you allow it? 
<laughs> Listen. So wait, I got this. I got can he, this. Can you toss this. me some bread too? So look, so look. Yeah, she's using it to I'm to, keep, fund to pay y'all's rent. This is what's gonna happen. I'm gonna use that to fund my next relationship. <laughs> that's what I'm gonna use. I think that's I think that's great. So you can fund my next relationship so I can find a girl <laughs> who actually got it and doesn't need to pay doesn't need to get a sugar daddy to pay bills and we but can wait. get it together. You know what I'm she saying? She didn't say that she doesn't still didn't work. She didn't say that she doesn't still work. She does still have she just has a sugar daddy. So she doesn't have integrity. It's just an extra okay. form does, of income. How, how, how does that take it's away? It's just an extra form of income. Nothing how physical. Does that, take away integrity? that was that listen Ooh, listen to the term. Selling Nothing sex? physical. You go out to dinner with this guy maybe twice a month. You text them everyone. That's all he wants because they're all sugar daddies that only want. That's why I hate about females. <laughs> listen, I want a sugar mama. So listen, check it out. Any Tell female, 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 female if you look, if you look at another female, it's like oh. Like you talking about taking money from? Yeah, right. Like you ain't let a sugar buy me a drink. I won't lie Jay, to you. If, I know, I, if he's I giving me ten k and is... we go to Peru and we can get a we can get a nice apartment and we can pace pan our rent like. What's wrong with it? I'm not saying I would do it, but I'm asking. Listen, I know I know women that if I'm looking at a shorty, she's probably looking with me. <laughs> I just I, when I was at the barber shop that day, when I was at the barber shop, shout out to Frank the Barber. Frank the Barber. Yo, we was watching uh Family Feud and he had these group of three women on. Um and they were basically talking about prenuptial agreements. They talked about a few other things, but the thing I latched onto was prenuptial agreements. So the one shorty goes on was like, yeah, like, I don't think prenups are necessary. That's like a plan B or whatever. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. She was like, yeah, if I'm going to be your wife, I'm going to be in that home cleaning this, that, and the other. I think I, when we break up, I deserve your house and your cars and things like that. I was like, see, this Shout is why, this, why you did, this is why you Shout get prenups. Shout out to that strong queen. Prenups to me, they that keep the relationship, they keep love. Playing ahead. We're queen. in this for love. We both get nothing when we come out. And that's why you need to be get somebody on your level. What do you mean, though? But it's like, like on your level where it's even. How does that work, though, if the house is in both of our names? I'm asking. I don't know. Uh, if the house is in both of our names and we get a divorce, what happens? You it's something that you have to go. It. The thing 50, about 50, So if you Jay. do get divorced without a prenup, it's going to cost more money for the lawyer fees because the lawyer fees get split. And usually the person who's a higher income earner is going to be the one who has to pay your lawyer fees when they decide everything goes to you. So you're saying it's smarter to not get a prenup. It's smarter to get a prenup just to get that out the way. So if we do split, I don't everything's already done. A, it's cheaper. How a it's cheaper. It ends Listen, up being cheaper. The way my life's set up right now, you're not about to get nothing out of me anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Sign so, it. They're going to take those speakers. They're going to take your mixing table. Yo, what's half a zero? Can you tell me what's half a zero? <laughs> <laughs> they take all that. Split zero right Shorty down the middle. about to take all that. She's about to take your headphones. <laughs> What kind of phone you got? What kind of you got? A, what you got? got, a got a, you got a? You got an X? I got seven. You got seven. I just was sure. So you you're not feeling the sugar daddy idea? Asking for a friend? No. Stuck. I mean, if you, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling it. it. I'm feeling it for my exact reason. <laughs> I'm gonna finance my next relationship. Like, all right, I'm saving money on bills. You know what I'm saying? I'm going on oh vacation, stress free, and then I'm just going like, I mean, hey yo, um, my shorty got a uh, sugar daddy, so I'm gonna be your sugar you're daddy. Be, be, too much be, inside the box. Because you know what I'm gonna do? <laughs> you know what I'm gonna do with that money? <laughs> with that sugar daddy money, I'm gonna flip it. Flip it. You know what I'm saying? Flip it I'm gonna way. flip it, and now, and now you don't need that sugar daddy anymore, cause because we're eating. We're eating now because See? I just flipped See? that money. See, smart. It could be. It's, it don't gotta be. A, it could be a temporary plan. Like let's just stack up thirty k, forty k. Forget thirty k. I'm and then flipping I cut that thirty. I, I know I'm some. I'm flipping that thirty k into a million. Think, I like how good. you're thinking, stuff. You know I mean? This is a business Look, investment. Was good. Yeah, I'm investing into my next relationship. <laughs> what do you mean? It's a business, business investment. investment. Why are you being like that? I'm not being like anything. I'm telling you, like I'm telling you, what I'm about to use the money for this free, this financial freedom for. You know what I'm saying? Let them buy me a house. Yes, buy us New a house. Car, you know I mean? Buy us a house for some text messages. It's just I feel yeah, like I'm that's a, a good a, deal. We gonna buy me and just her for house. some text Shoot, messages. It's women that's selling pictures of feet for billions. Yes, that's true. That's true. That's a fetish. That's that's People true. go on Snapchat. I seen something. Actually, I seen something on Twitter. They were like, um, she, she screenshot. I was like, oh, look at this creep in my DMs or whatever. And she was, he was like, send me your feet. She was like, show me a picture of your feet, and I'll send you a thousand dollars. She's like, oh, he said. They were like, you stupid. Like you just, you just, just missed a, out on a just bag. Your feet, just your for feet. a picture of my toes, man. Here's my cash app name right now. Well, you not going? You not with your girl doing that? Can I sell my feet for ten k? Ah, you can sell your feet. Oh! Oh, wow. Wow. What are your morals, Jay? You're flaky for real. They stink anyway. Wow. Don't, can we edit that part out? <laughs>
Can we put a punch point? <laughs> <laughs> We're not editing Can that we put a punch point right there? Um, I also seen someone on Twitter, like, this dude found out that his girl was cheating on her. And he it was her birthday, and he wrapped, he packed all her stuff and wrapped Yo, it. Yo, I watched that <laughs> Did you video. see that? Yes. He, I've, I've been with that. He was <laughs> wrapped. He he packed all her clothes and wrapped put it them in up wrapping presents. paper. It was like happy birthday. She was like, "Is this my stuff?" <laughs> yes. Now grab it and go. He's, she cheated on him with a man named Hubert. Yeah, his name was Hubert. That's true. His name is Hubert. <laughs> his name was Hubert. Hubie. <laughs> you yep. cheat on me with a man named Hubert? What? All, See, she, that's that sugar daddy. That's that sugar daddy we was talking about. See what happens? No, no, she's just no, 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 no. Shout no, out to that because king. Hubert got some sugar. Shout out to that king. Wow. Hubert got sugar. So he doesn't count as sugar daddy. <laughs> he actually got the sugar. Oh, this is what I forgot to ask y'all about. Ja Rule and Ashanti are supposed to be coming up with an no, album. I'm here, for it. I'm here for it. Are you here for it? Uh, right now, I'm not. Uh, I'm not looking for it, but they do it. I just don't know what kind of music it's going to be. Murder. If it don't sound I'm like that, I don't want it. it. I don't want 2018 Ja Rule. I want <laughs> 2018 Ja Rule on a trap say, beat. I'm going to say there is a feature in the background and Ashanti ja singing the if it's I'm a not new, always there when That's what I'm call. saying. If it's a new album, they got to be on some 2018 what? stuff. They might be able to just it. make, they might as well just resell us what they already made and move dun, back. Dun, 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 dun. I, yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm here just for it. I think a feature just came in on that one time. I'm here dun, for it. Dun, <laughs> I just don't know. Um, <laughs> if it sounds like, if it, if it makes me nostalgic, I'm here for it. But other than that, no. Do y'all want to talk about Terry Crews? No. Why? It's, it's important. He is I, I think that man. every I, look, look, look. look. Um, Tay, I Tay think Cruz everybody needs to be heard. I think everybody, woman, man, whoever you are, you need to be heard when it comes to sexual harassment and other things. You need to get your justice. I understand people are clowning him because he's a big, he's big as hell. He's like in that like top five percent of big motherfuckers. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like <laughs> he's uncomfortably big. Well, basically, like, what he was saying, I be was, doing I'm this black, back workout at the gym. Like that they were like, rough. why didn't you just fight back? And he's like, I'm black. Like I can't just be popping off. I get that like, too. Cause they would have arrested him for that. He's typecast. He's that. typecasted, and he only gets a few roles. Facts. So he can't go out and got crazy with that. Why well, was Terry Crews in Deadpool <laughs> for fifteen <laughs> seconds? <laughs> that was the dumbest thing. Oh, how could I forget? Cardi and Offset really is married. Was yeah, that stupid yeah, of her? Yeah, yeah. Was that dumb of her? No. No. They did announce that. Nah. No, she need. Uh... She was married. What? That's running out of battery. Just to let you know, so the video is about. Oh, okay. So you keep going with the audio. Okay, cool. All right, so if you're watching the video, we're signing off and uh, head to buttdtma.com or we're also on iTunes at But Don't Take My Advice podcast and you can catch more there. But if the video cuts off, then that's why. Oh, yeah, video, <laughs> video people, make sure you follow me, run oh, yeah. stuck on IG. Where can they find you, Stucky? You can find me on Instagram, run stuck. Twitter, run underscore stuck. Uh, I'm not giving y'all my snap. I don't worry about all that. Nobody's uh, even you can find me on SoundCloud, more. soundcloud.com forward slash DJ mm-hmm. I want I want to say it's underscore stuck but you can easily just search me on DJ stuck search me as DJ stuck on SoundCloud or I Snapchat mean, listen to the mixes <laughs> I mean I'm telling you it's always a vibe I mean even if y'all could play at the end listen stuck now we will volume four Bet. on SoundCloud now I mean we definitely will it's lit is my most recent installment Listen, and this I even got more coming this summer. We, Bet. I, I might drop five this summer. Might even start a new installment. Who knows Ooh. what we're going to do. You know what I mean? Talk your shit then, King.